Hi there guys, welcome back to the channel. Now you can't beat the glorious British weather, can you? It might be raining, but I'm still gonna make this video for you. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a concrete repair spur, and I'm gonna start right now. Thank you all for watching and I'm truly humbled for each and every one of your subscriptions. If you want to see more how-to videos, fencing videos, tool reviews and other related stuff, please click the subscribe button which should be just down here. Also click the notification bell to be notified when new content is uploaded. So the first thing you're going to want to do is dig a hole in the front of this existing post. Now, more than likely there's going to be a lot of concrete in the bottom of this hole so you're going to need a breaker to break through this i've done another video on how to dig a fence post hole and i'll stick a link just up in the top here for you to go to okay guys so there's the first hole dug to two foot deep and then about one foot wide and as expected there was a lot of concrete in this hole so i had to use the breaker to break it out and i'll leave a link to the breaker that I use in the description box. Now the next thing you're going to want to do is remove this rotten piece of timber that's at the bottom of the hole and you're going to have to cut, it's already basically rotted through at this point here so I'm just going to finish off cutting it and then I can just lever this out and the reason for that is if you left that post in there over time that will rot and then create a void which would allow the fence to move again so that's the next thing to do okay there you go as you can see i've removed the rotted piece of timber from in the ground and now once we put our concrete repair spur in just in front of this post and we fill it up with concrete, that void is going to fill with concrete and it will just make the fence a lot more secure. The next thing is we're going to get a string line and we're going to put that line between the corner post here which is pretty level and then the fourth post along down there which is pretty level as well and then we're going to prop up the fence so it's level from the opposite side before we concrete it in. Bit difficult to show you around here because it's quite tight but as you can see I've got timbers just screwed into the fence on the inside here just bringing it up level and holding it there and we're going to leave those there for at least a couple of days for the concrete to go off and then once it's sufficiently set we can take these angled pieces of timber away. So now we're going to screw in these coach screws. These are 150 mil 10 gauge coach screws. We're going to put two in with um, M10 washers in there as well. We'll start off with the bottom one. Try and get the repair spur plumb. And that's perfectly level. And then you're going to need 17 mil socket on the end of an impact driver to screw it in. Once you put that bottom one in, check for plumb again. It's perfect. Now we've got all the repair spurs in and I'm just checking that it's plumb again and we're ready to concrete these all in. We're using rapid setting concrete post mix. I'm going to use one and a half bags per post. First thing you want to do is fill the hole up with a third of water. And then add your post mix. Now 
make sure you get it into that void behind. And then you want to make sure there's no dry powder showing by adding a bit more water. And it's good practice to just mix that all in with a bar, removing any air pockets. Make sure that that water gets mixed into all the post mix. Now that's quick setting concrete, it should go off in about 10 minutes. Once that's gone off and it's gone hard on top, you can then backfill that with the rest of the soil and then that's it complete. There you go guys, three repair spurs fitted. Thank you all for watching and give it a thumbs up if you like this video, I'd really appreciate that and I'd be happy to answer any of your comments and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time. Thanks. Bye.